Okay, the purpose of this demonstration is to demonstrate <laughs> uh, the conversion of UML into code. So I have uh, on the screen uh, a typical UML diagram and we're going to be converting it to code. So first off you see very first thing that it is a class called payroll. I can zoom in, gets a little blurry. Um, let's go ahead and put that into code then. Go ahead and create a new Java class called payroll. Then I see four variables for name, ID number, pay rate, and hours worked. So let's create them and I see that they are private because of the minus sign. So our instance fields will be a private string called name for our first one, private int ID number, a private double pay rate, and a private double hours worked. Now all of our methods, I see a bunch of methods, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten methods, but they're all public. So the first one, I know it has the same name, I know it's hard to see, the same name as our class, so that's our constructor that takes two arguments. So I have a public payroll that takes a string called n and an integer called i. Well, I know that n represents the name, so name equals n, and the i equals the id number, so id number equals i. And that's our two argument constructor. We then have set mutator methods. So this is our constructor. And here come the mutators with set name. Let's go. I can just create those from memory, basically. But uh, we'll look at it. It's public void set name. It takes a string called n, and then I know that name equals n. Then I have a public void set ID number with uh, integer called i and then we say the ID number here we can do a copy uh, copy paste equals the i variable that's passed in after ID number, we have set pay rate, public void set pay rate, double P, pay rate equals P, and then finally, set hours worked, public void set hours worked with a double H. The variable is hours worked equals the h value that's passed in. Then we are left with our accessors. Pretty standard here. I can minimize the mutators now. And get a public string get name that returns the name variable. Public it returns an integer get ID number. Returns the ID number. Get pay rate, which was a double. Public double get pay rate. 
return pay rate. And then our last successor, which I forgot to put my little friendly comment. Ah, our last successor is for the hours worked. Public double get hours worked. Return hours worked. So we now have the accessor methods that are standard. And then the last method under here is get gross pay. So public double get gross pay. Well, I know there's no parameters there. I know that the gross pay is going to return the hours worked times the pay rate. So this is a calculation method uh, that returns the gross pay. And that is your conversion from UML into code. The last thing that we have to do here is create a payroll object set all the instance fields, calculate the gross, well, get the values then that we want, and get the gross pay. So let's go ahead and do that here. And I will create a payroll driver. So I will say new class, payroll driver. And in my driver, I'll have the main method, public static void main string args. And I'll instantiate a payroll object. Payroll, I'll call it employee one equals new payroll. Now, again, we cannot use a no arg constructor. We have to pass it a name and an ID number. So, um, I'll put my name inside of a string and an ID number, which is an int. And then we'll set the emp1.set hours worked. Well, I work a lot of hours every week, so I'm just going to say 70. Um, I can even work a half an hour there because it's a double, 70.5. And then I can set my pay rate, and I don't really make much money, but it is a double, so let's just say I make $8.25 an hour. And now I can get the information, so there's uh, instantiates uh, a payroll object with to our constructor sets pay info. Now we're going to get the employee info. And when we get it, we're going to use our print line. System out print line. Payroll info. Plus a line break. plus emp one dot get name and I'll add a little bit something nicer here I'll say something like name Let's do a little bit of formatting here name is get the name plus uh, ID number plus emp one dot get ID number. We like line breaks here, so we can add line breaks. Plus another nice friendly nice line break. Plus hours worked.
plus empt one dot get hours worked plus uh friendly line break if I was smart I'd copy and paste those plus pay rate plus emp one dot get pay rate plus gross pay and here we call that calculation method we call emp one dot get gross pay which remember that's going to return a double of our pay rate times our hours worked and take a quick look now we have set the employee information using a combination of mutator methods and a constructor then we get all the information we calculate a gross pay and if it works you see here's the payroll info that's me that's my ID number I worked a lot of hours I don't make a lot per hour and there's my gross pay we're gonna learn later on how to round these off but just do a quick math calculation here if I work 70.5 hours at eight dollars twenty cents an hour five seventy eight point one which this rounds up to be exactly that um, so again this payroll ultimately what we did here is we demonstrated converting this UML into this code with instance fields constructors mutators accessors calculation methods instantiated a payroll object, set some information, get the information, calculate a gross pay. Thank you for watching. Have a good day.